All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name's Kermit, and behind me is a 1955 Chevy. This thing is absolutely beautiful. The paint's in great shape on this thing. We're going to go take it around the block. We're going to put it up on the hoist. We're going to let you listen to the engine, give it a couple of quick wraps. It's a Chevy small block. It does run good. Uh, so let's get it started. All right, guys, on the front of this thing, it's absolutely beautiful. You can see the chrome on the front bumper. It's obviously been redone, or it's a, just a repop bumper, one of the two. Uh, grill's in great shape. All the emblems, absolutely beautiful. And there's one thing that I really love about this car. It's the paint scheme. It's the orange and the cream on the top. This is a two-tone paint job. It's worked for 60 years, and it's going to continue to work for the rest of this car's life, which is, who knows? I mean, this thing very well could be around long after I'm gone. I mean, because these things, people start taking care of them. We don't drive them in the salt anymore. They, they essentially will last forever. Um, you can see all the gaps, absolutely great on it. All the trim, absolutely beautiful. Drip rails still on the car. Looking up in them, there are no, there's no rust or things like that that would like to start right in here. All that looks like it's in intact, good shape. Like I said, the back of the door jam, absolutely beautiful. That's one of my favorite features of these things is that flip down drip, uh, that flip down drip rail thing. I love it. <laughs> Door closes just fine on it. Door gaps all the way around look good. All the trim, absolutely in beautiful shape. You can see back here, you can see just in the, the top of the reflection of the paint, it's absolutely beautiful. I can see the pictures on the wall. I can see the, the lighting overhead in this thing. A lot of good definition in the paint. So whoever did this did a good job wet sanding and buffing and what have you. They did a very good job with it. Uh, good looking rims on the car. Very muscle car, American racing muscle car rims. I mean, it's just quintessential muscle car. You can see the Underneath here, I mean, there's no rust or anything like that. You don't see a bunch of dirt and stuff like that falling and hitting the ground as I'm doing that. It's very clean underneath, as you will see in the rest of the video. I mean, absolutely awesome. All the chrome, even coming around the back of the thing, the chrome was absolutely beautiful. Deck lid looks great. And once again, I like the fact that it's a cream, not so much a bright, bright like a Wimbledon white. It's a little softer to the eye. It actually makes the car a little more appealing, in my opinion. Deck lid gaps all look great on the thing. Emblems look great. Rear bumper looking every bit as good as the front. And you can see that it does have a set of tips on it, which means it's probably got a nice exhaust under it. And I have heard this thing run around the shop. It does sound like it's got an exhaust system on it. Coming around the other side, two-tone paint starting to come into play over here. Absolutely beautiful. We do got drum brakes in the rear, I can see. As far as this door goes, same good looking feature here. Works just fine. Door closes just like that. I mean, that's, that's really good. It's like a, like a Volt door or something like that. I love these big old Chevys. It's built extremely tough. I mean, all these gaps look like they're in beautiful shape. All this, absolutely beautiful. The trim's all there. We got disc brakes in the front of this thing, which I like to see. I bet you it handles like it's got them on there, too. Uh, at this point, let's take a look at the interior and the trunk, and uh, we'll throw it up on the hoist. All right, guys, you can see the door panel on this thing matches the two-tone paint of the car. The whole theme kind of continues throughout the entire car on it. You can see it's in great shape. All the upholstery looks pretty good on it. Looks like it was done fairly recently ago when it was taken care of throughout its life. Carpet's red. It's not quite as new as the rest of the interior, but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's in pretty good shape. You lift up the mat here. You can see these mats have been in the car the whole life of it. There's no wear where your feet always lay in the car, so they've always had these mats in it and taken care of the carpet. Custom steering wheel and column in the car, probably an it column. Uh, really nice. It is a tilt wheel. Yep. There we go. Tilt wheel does work. Um, I mean, the dashboard, just stock style dash on the thing. It's absolutely beautiful. All the uh, factory gauges work with the modern engine that's underneath the hood. Well, not modern, but uh, semi-modern engine that's underneath the hood on the thing. Definitely upgraded. Uh, looking up underneath the dash here, I mean, you can see the carpet's in good shape all the way up. Factory gas pedal and brake pedal. We do have some aftermarket gauges here. Um, these gauges are just so you can keep an eye on that uh, engine that's underneath the hood there and make sure you know that the, uh, the vitals of it are all in good shape. Seats look like they got factory upholstery on them, and I love a bench seat in a car. I've still got a bench seat in my car, you know, after extensive modification. I love them just because they're nice and comfortable. You can slide around on it. Nothing wrong with that. Rear seat looks like it's in great shape as well. 
Uh, custom upholstery back here along with the seat. I mean, absolutely beautiful. It does come with a fire extinguisher. Not that uh, you should ever need it. <laughs> the um, headliner, absolutely beautiful in this car. You can see that it's got, uh, we're missing a lens in the back there. We'll have to get one of those for it. Um, but uh, lens is retained over here as well. Absolutely awesome. Let's take a look at the passenger side. All right, guys, this door panel looks every, good as good as the, every bit as good as the driver's side, if I could speak. Uh, really good shape. Uh, upholstery looks like it was done just about the same time as the other side. Of course, that doesn't come as a surprise. That's the way you should do it. Um, under, underneath this mat, carpet's in really good shape. I love the red carpet in this thing. Seat on this side's in good shape. You can get a shot over there of what the actual lens looks like for the uh, interior lights. So, we, like I said, we're going to get a lens that matches it to put on the other side. Outside of that, we're going to go take a look at the trunk. All right, guys, we're going to get into the trunk on this thing. Trunk lock works just fine. Pop, opens right up. Trunk mat's still there. It does have a battery mounted trunk on the thing. This is a cutoff for it in case for whatever reason you uh, decide you want to leave it somewhere and you're not too, uh, or not too favorable of the area. You can always take this cutoff out of it and it won't start. The car won't have any power and just whenever you're ready to take it off or take off again, screw this in, you get power to the car again. Uh, this is touch-up paint. It does come with a car, um, you know, red and white, respectively, or I guess I should say orange and uh, pearl, respectively. Uh, underneath the trunk, I mean, abs or underneath the trunk mat, I should say, absolutely good shape. See all of our wiring. Not nothing's really haggled or anything like that. Any any repairs that were done were done well, high quality repairs. Put the mat back down on the thing. <clears throat> you can see that uh, up, like in this spare tire area here, these things love to rot out right here. I mean, it's in great shape. I don't even see pitting on it. Uh, the trunk maintains all of its factory um, spackle paint on it. Everything looks like it's in good shape. Looking forward at the back of the rear seat, really good shape as well. Looks to be pretty original back there. Nothing, nothing really to complain about with that. Bottom of the deck lid looks like it's in great shape. All of the rubber looks like it's in good shape. And no complaints whatsoever. And Here's the big test right here, see if the trunk closes good because on these they have the tendency where the uh, deck lid actually kind of separates a little bit and you got to push on it. This one, no problem there. First try. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right, let's take the 55 Chev for a ride. She has got an awesome sound and exhaust system on her. She sounds fantastic. Now look down here on the dash. We have got the Speedo working. Horns working, windshield wipers are wiping, it's got the uh, stock radio in it, it is not working. Three pack of gauges down there to tell us what's going on with the operation of the motor. All the paintwork looks good, the uh, paintwork on the hood looks fantastic. This is one sweet 55 Chev, and I tell you what, these are getting harder and harder and harder to find. These are one of the top five cars that we try to find and buy and they are getting very very scarce guys 55 is probably the most popular tri-5 car right now i'd say it used to be 57s but now 55s are really getting scarce guys are coming out in droves to buy these and we just can't keep them at our shop when we get them at the shop boom they are gone now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. We can ship this 55 Chev anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Listen to that exhaust. She's got a great sounding exhaust. It's got a nice rumble to it, but it's not too loud. So you're not gonna get arrested driving this one. There's some traffic coming here. Also, don't forget, we love to have visitors. So please, if you want to come out, come on out. Take a look at this car. Take a look at the rest of our inventory. Also, we go to a lot of car shows. 
If you see Tom or I at one of the car shows, please feel free to come up. We'd love to meet you. It's driving nice and straight. The brakes are stopping it nice and straight. Beautiful paint job on the car. She's got that uh, stock look with the resto mod twist with the wheels. Very, very sharp car here. Get around this corner. Now our shop's right here outside the Motor City in Plymouth, Michigan. And we're only 20 minutes from the airport. So if you want to fly out and check out the car, please do so. Just let us know you're coming. If you want to have an inspector take a look at it, just let us know he's coming. We'd love to show him the car. Now stick around because we're going to do something you don't often get to see. We're going to put this car up on the lift so you can check out the underside. And then we'll take a look at the power plant under the hood. All right, we're underneath the 55 Chev now, and she is sweet underneath, too. Um, spare tire holder still there. Trunk floor looks original. Gas tank looks brand new. Exhaust system looks brand new. Back sides of the uh, quarters are nice and clean. You don't look like there was any patchwork or anything done there. Looks like the brake lines have been replaced. Now, the guys will pull the brakes all apart, make sure they're in good working order. Now, this rear end housing has got a big P on it, and you guys know what that means. This is a very special unit right here. She's a posi unit from the factory. Check that out. Very sought after center section. Uh, right around the 342 gear, uh, the guys rolled it over and counted it. We've got glass pack mufflers. Floors look great. Backsides of the rockers look great. And everybody knows these 50s uh, chevs. You got to check out these body mounts. These body mounts look sweet. It even looks like they've had the rubber changed on the body mounts. Uh, Turbo 350 trans here, chrome close out. We have had uh, disc brakes added to the front. Looks like the upper ball joints were replaced at one time. Looks like it's got newer shocks in it too. Uh, the guys will check out all the steering gear. Uh, cross member looks good. Bottom side of the motor is nicely painted. Back side of the uh, front bumper looks as good as the front side. So that's definitely new. Um, just one beautiful car underneath. Let's check out wheels and tires. Up front here, we've got polished aluminum American Racing wheels, 245-45-17s up front. Wheel wells are nice and clean. Paint work right down to the bottom edge of the front fender looks great. Let's look in the rear. Out back, we got the same good looking rims. We got a little more rubber, 255-50-17s in the back. And again, paint work right down to the bottom edge of the uh, rear quarter looks fantastic. Let's get under the hood. All right, under the hood of this 55, we got a great looking small block Chevy here. She's a 350. It's got a newer radiator in it. Great looking polished valve covers. Uh, it does have manual steering, power brakes, all that's new. It's got an Edelbrock um, intake sitting on there. Looks like a, uh, it's either a quick fuel or a Holly carb sitting on top. It is a four barrel. Um, Jet coated headers, it looks like. Firewall is uh, painted up nice. Looks like it's got a uh, new style uh, windshield wiper motor on it. Everything under here is painted up nice. I tell you what, I'd be proud to pop the hood of this at any car show. Give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this 55 in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.